Welcome, everybody. It's 2021. If you're not using Vim, then what's even the point? What are you even doing? This is my beginner Vim tips video. Really, I'm just gonna tell you how to get Vim, how to get into a file to edit some stuff, and most importantly, how to exit. That's the thing that people seem to have the most problems with. And then some movement keys to get you going and get you started with the spiciness, the juiciness, the Vim. So. Without further ado, this is my beginner Vim tips, 2021. Let's go, baby. So first and foremost, duh, you got to have Vim installed. I am using NeoVim, and I have Vim aliased to NeoVim. If I which and Vim, you can see it's in my bin there. Now, most systems come with something pre-installed. Maybe it's VI or Vim itself. If you want NeoVim, you probably have to go install that yourself. I do recommend NeoVim, and that's a topic for another video, but here under the GitHub and NeoVim, NeoVim install from package page, there's all kinds of ways you can get it. Mac OS, it's on a brew tap, or whatever you wanna call it. And if you wanna use normal Vim, there's maybe some more complicated ways of getting it from Mac. Uh, you gotta use MacVim, which is this project here. MacVim, you can go get it. So. There's lots of instructions on how to actually install Vim, and once you get it, you should go over to your terminal and which Vim. Again, I've alias NeoVim to Vim, so if I just type in Vim, it opens up the editor. Great, and I can start doing stuff. There we are. Now, what most people are gonna wanna do is Vim some file, and we're gonna just call this some file.txt. TZT, oh, that's fine. So. Now you're in a file. What do you do? How do you edit some stuff? So let's say that this is my file. This is some more stuff. Now you see what I did there? I went into insert mode. Look at that there, insert mode. And the way you get into insert mode is by hitting I, I for insert mode and I for insert mode, okay? You wanna to get to insert some text, you gotta go into insert mode, great. Now, the way you get out of insert mode is usually you just hit escape. That's how most people go back into normal mode, okay? I have a few additional configurations, so you might notice here when I type JK, that's just kind of a nice home roll, roll JK to basically hit exit. JK is just remapped to exit. It's very, very, not often <laughs> that I actually am typing JK. So instead that's get, that gets remapped to escape. So you're in insert mode, you're typing some stuff, great. In normal mode, there's a bunch of additional key presses and commands that you can use to move around. The biggest ones are gonna be in your right hand for a normal keyboard, the H, J, K, L keys. K moves you up. J moves you down, and if I'm in a line, like I am here, H will move you to the left, and L will move you to the right. So I like to kind of think about it as almost like the arrow keys got kind of flattened into just a row right there. Again, J goes down, K goes up, H to the left, L to the right. All right, we're moving along, we're chugging along. Uh, let's say that this file is just like really huge. Let's just, let's just, you know, to, there, boom, there's 50 lines. Great, awesome. Now, I could just, you know, do this, just hold J and K in normal mode to go up and down, but there's, there's some, some better ways to do this. You can actually add numbers to these key presses to move around. So if I hit five and then J, I jump down five lines. I basically executed J five times to go down, okay? Again, five J, again, boom. I just jumped down five lines. And that works for pretty much any command. I can five K to go back up. Again, five K, go up. All right, great, so we did some stuff. Now you wanna save and exit your file. Okay, let's do that. Now, a very important thing in Vim is you're gonna wanna know about the colon to enter command mode. You see down here, it put a colon and then basically this leading cursor to tell me I'm in command mode. And I could start typing some stuff down there. We see all that. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into command mode with the colon and hit W. That saves your file, that stands for write. So we can see that all of this was written, it's a new file, so wrote a new file. 
And you can actually chain these together. So I can do W and then the next command Q, which is quit. So basically what it is is saying is write and quit. I do this all the time, WQ, boom. And that brings me back to my command line. So if I vim some file and go back in here, it's all still there, great. So again, you want WQ to save and quit. And that brings me out one more time. So let's say that you made a bunch of these changes and you don't actually want to save them. You just wanna like bail out of the file and get back to the command line. So again, escape, make sure that you are in normal mode and go into command and Q exclamation point. That's just gonna quit forcefully even though there's changes that haven't been saved. Boom, and I can go back into that file and it's not there. Ah, that's good coffee. Okay, so let's give you a few more nice little tidbits to get you moving around the files and get things kind of greased up and moving really fast. So one more that I really like is W. W stands for word and essentially just pressing W will move you down word characters. And a word you can think of as something space delimited. So right here, typing is a word and sum is a word and stuff. And that's all delimited by a space or a new line. So if I go back to the beginning of this file and hit www, that basically takes me, traverses the whole line to the next one. And to go back, I can hit B. B brings you back a word, B, B. And I hit that three times and boom, I'm at the beginning of typing. Another one I use all the time is capital G. That takes me to the very bottom of the file. Again, capital G, that takes you to the bottom of the file. Really good one to have. Well, what if I wanna to go to the top of the file? You can hit lowercase gg, and that takes you to the top. All right, the next one that I really like is control D. Control D, you can think of as like paging down. You see there on the left that it's basically jumping numbers as I go down all the way to the bottom of the file, eventually 58. And again, I can go back to the top, gg. All right, let's talk a little bit more about editing and some nice beginner things for editing. You can hit DD to delete a whole line. And then you're still in normal mode, but you can imagine that almost as being stored in a temporary cache or some temporary clipboard or buffer. I can move around still, I'm still in normal mode, I can do whatever, but then I can use P, which is paste, to put that line in that Vim buffer wherever I want. So again, let's look at that with DD, that takes that out, and we can move around again and hit P to put it somewhere or paste it. Another really useful one when editing is U, and that's actually undo. And you can hit that basically as many times as you want to undo stuff. Redo is a little more complicated. You're gonna want Control R, which starts to redo stuff. You kind of get the idea that a lot of the keyboard mappings have kind of mnemonics and little words associated with them, like U is undo, Control R is redo, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope this gets you started with some of the basic things you can do with Vim, moving around, saving files, doing some basic editing, and maybe gives you an idea of just how fast and buttery smooth it really is. All right, my name's John. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. So I will catch you in the next video. Peace.